Let us start the demo by uploading a simple dataset. Let's use the sample order lines which comes as default with Oracle DV Desktop. So I'm going to point to my Excel file, creating a dataset, and I will keep all the columns by default as they come. So I'll just click on Add Dataset. Once the dataset is created, instead of creating a project, we'll go back to dataset and we will index it so that we can use ask. But before indexing it, I will go to the console just to monitor indexing jobs, just to be able to track for the purpose of this demo. So I'm going to search index under console, and then I click on monitor crawls. There I will be able to monitor indexings as they happen. So let's go back to sample order lines and let's click on inspect dataset and then search. On the search I'm going to index that dataset for searching and I will select by name and values and I click save. Name and values means that I index column names as well as column values in their columns. Now for the purpose of this demo let me just go back to monitor crawl and refresh the page. Within two minutes that indexing should be running. Here it is. We can see the little green icon right there of the running instance and this is run within two minutes of the last one. It succeeded. I can see that it took nine seconds to get there and I can see more details about the crawl that just happened. This is not necessary to do. This I'm just showing it for the purpose of the demo. So now our data set is indexed. We can go and uh, check out the columns, just to remember what we have here and we can use these columns to query and build reports from the ask interface. So let me open another browser tab, go to the home page, use the uh, ask interface and query and here we can see that it recognizes sales as a column in that data set. So let me I ask sales by category and it will pop up a chart. Let me add profit to this and then let's add uh, segments, customer segments, and on and on. We can filter this for a given value, San Francisco for instance, and so on. We can also use phrasal English like uh, show me top 10 customers by profit and it will understand that. Now um, maybe I want a bar chart and maybe I want a horizontal bar chart and maybe I want to interact with the bar chart like I do in DV. I could open it in DV. I can sort it right there. I can drill right there into more details. Let's say we want to see for this customer what are the order IDs and here we go. So now let's look at an undocumented feature in OAC 18.3.3 which allows to introduce synonyms so that users can query that same data set but without the exact name of the exact columns. So synonyms will allow users to use other words to define specific columns. This feature in 18.3.3 does not have any user interface, so that's why it's not documented. Let's call it a beta feature. It will be largely enhanced in the upcoming versions. Meanwhile, it is still operational in a rudimentary way. Let's see how it works. So first, let us define synonyms for our dataset columns in a text file. Let me tab over to this file. And here we can see that we have source name, which are the column names, and synonym values for the columns we want. For instance, we want sales to be replaceable by revenue or income. We want product container column to be called package as well. We want product category to be called pillar or department and so on. Notice the particular syntax here of the CSV file, which is critical for that uh, beta feature to work. And it must be a CSV file. So now let's go into creating a data set with that CSV file. Again, it must be CSV. So I'm going to pick it up and create a data set. I will just leave the columns as they are and simply <coughs> add the data set. <coughs> a very important point for this beta feature to work, function properly is that the synonym data set be created with the same exact name as its source data set with the extension underscore OAC underscore synonym as you can see here. Without doing this it won't work. So once this is added what we're going to do is just refresh the indexing of sample order lines just to make sure that the synonyms are taken into account. So go back to inspect, search and all I'm doing here is I'm changing back and forth some parameters and saving it just to kick off the indexing again. So if we go 
to the monitor crawls, we refresh this, we can see that it's going to run within two minutes. It's just running, it kicked off. And that took six seconds, so now it's refreshed. So now let's go back to ask. Let me clear up that question and let me use cells by pillars. And hopefully this will be recognized. And it was, and this translated into sales by product category. So now let's try income by package. <clears throat> and again, this became sales by product container. Now let me try top 10 items by volume, which are synonyms. And again, this translated into top 10 product names by quantity ordered. So we now have synonyms that this data set can be asked with. Again, this is only a beta feature in OAC 18.3.3, which will be further enhanced in upcoming releases. Thank you for watching that video.